Hey Book Dragons, welcome back. Today, we are talking about collectible books that are on my wish list, and you'll find out why. Let's go. So it is finally October, and do you guys know what that means? Yes, it means Halloween is right around the corner, but that's not what I'm talking about. Yes, all month is spooky month, but that's not what I'm talking about. October is my birthday month. And so I thought I'd talk about books that are on my list that I'm really excited to get one of these days. Maybe not, but you never know. Wishful thinking. And... Um, I, I will link my wish list in the description below if you're curious. You, you don't have to get me anything. D don't worry. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. And uh, you can see some of these. Now, some of these are not on my Amazon wish list, but I'll, I'll, I'll be talking about those as well. So, let's get right to it, okay? All right. So, the, the first one is uh, Dune. Now, I, I do own a, a really nice collector's edition of Dune uh, with some really nice illustrations in it. This is just kind of one of those pie-in-the-sky ideas, and that is the Folio Society edition of Dune. It's just an absolutely gorgeous edition, and uh, I, I've had it on my, on my wish list in my mind for a while, and so... Uh, you know, one of these days, maybe I'll get it, but uh, probably not. You know, it's one of those really expensive editions that it's just kind of like, well, you know, it's a kind of a special occasion type of thing. So, um, another one from Folio Society, and, and these are all going to be Folio Society editions, these first ones, okay? Um, uh, the next one is Howl's Moving Castle. Uh, that That is... Another one that I've really, really been wanting to get a hold of, and I found a, just a gorgeous copy of it on Folio Society's website. So I thought, you know, that would be pretty cool to have. So that that's on my list. Uh, the Foundation Trilogy by Isaac Asimov is another one. Now, I have read the first book. I haven't read the other two, but... Uh, Folio Society makes this really gorgeous edition uh, of the trilogy and that would be a pretty cool edition to have so I'm very excited to see what happens with that and uh, you know maybe maybe I'll get a copy of it one of these days uh, and Nancy Boys and American Gods both by Neil Gaiman have some really fancy schmancy collector's editions on Folio Society's website. So those are also editions that I have put on my list with Folio Society in hopes that one day they might just show up at my door. You never know. <laughs> so now let's get on to other collectible editions. Um, First of all, we'll start with Amazon. Uh, these are on my Amazon wish list, and and these are not like super duper, you know, expensive, fancy editions, but they're nice editions. Uh, one of those is the Shades of Magic series by Victoria E. Schwab, or I think on the Shades of Magic, it's under V. E. Schwab, but but in any case, uh, same same person. And I've really been wanting to get a hold of those collector's editions, so those are on my list. Um, the Elric Saga collectible editions are coming out. The first one, I believe, releases in December, and then the other two release sometime next year. And that would, uh, uh, that would be the entire series of uh, the Chronicles of Elric of Mendebone. And I've always wanted to read those. I've never gotten a chance. They've been out of print for a long time, and then I noticed that these collectible editions were uh, were being released over a period of several months. So I put those on my Amazon wish list uh, just in case. I thought they would be kind of cool to have. Uh, and then also the Gorman Gast series. Uh, the first book is Titus Grown uh, by Mervyn Peake. 
I found a really cool edition of that book on Amazon. Uh, it's, a, it's a complete collection, although I think it might be excluding the fourth book. I'm not entirely sure, but I know it has the first three books, which make up the main part of the series. So, so that is on my Amazon wish list as well. And then some other collectible editions that I'm really excited to maybe get one day are two of my favorite books of all time, and that would be The Night Circus and Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern. There is a collectible edition from Illumicrate of the Starless Sea, but it was a limited run, and it's probably floating around out there in the wild somewhere, but it's like $400, so that's never going to happen. But um, it would be really cool to have, at least at some point, some type of collector's edition of Starless Sea. So that is on my, on my bucket list of books to get if it ever comes out with another edition. For the Night Circus, there is a new edition of the Night Circus being made right now. A uh, special illustrated edition. I'm on the wish list for it, or, or I'm on the wait list for purchasing it, I should say, because it's, uh, it, it's being created right now and the company that's doing it is releasing information slowly as they get more information to give so I'm very excited to eventually get my hands on that uh, I hope it doesn't all sell out before I can get it but I am on the mailing list for it so I'm sure I'll find out when it releases and oh it will probably be a fantastic looking book I have no doubt so uh, so that is my list of collectible books that I am most excited about. Now, there are others on my list as well, but those are the ones that I really wanted to talk about. Uh, let me know of some special editions that you think are really spectacular that, that you would like to own and to have on your bookshelf. I know the Greenbone Saga by Fonda Lee is being released in a fancy schmancy three book illustrated set by the Broken Binding, I believe. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's by Illumicrate. Uh, that's an Illumicrate special edition. So some of you may be interested in those. I, I don't really think I need those. I enjoy the books. I've enjoyed reading the first two books and I'm very excited to read Jade Legacy when it releases, but I don't think I need the collector's editions. It's not high on my list, but maybe it is for you. So let me know in the comments what you think and uh, that's it guys. Make sure you're reading more books. We will talk soon.